been here in a long time, but I'm so happy to be back. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I am coming back to you with some exciting news, a huge announcement. I'm just gonna get straight into it. I am launching deep puffing full coverage concealers with a metal tip that has never been seen before in a wand hydrating mattifying setting powders you don't understand you guys concealer changed my life it was the reason why i got into makeup and started my whole journey the way i see life the way i see myself people the connection that i've had with people in general started from this concealer story and I'm going to tell you about it in just a little bit. I'm going to tell you about all the amazing things about the concealer that I've been working on for two and a half years, the setting powder and everything like that in this video. Before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you can be part of the Dom fam. And without further ado, let's get into this video. <gasps> They're right here. Oh my goodness. This is a little sneak peek. There's so many concealers out there and I do feel like this is the first of its kind just the way you apply it, what it does for you is just so different than what I've seen on the market. So this is very new and I'm nervous and I'm excited, but I think it's also going to change the way we put on concealer. Um, there's so many amazing things about it that I want to talk about later, but first I want to get into why this is so meaningful to me, my heart and the way that I see life. I mean, if you think about it, it's just the concealer. Like, what is that? How is that going to change your perception on life? Well, let me tell you how it changed my life. So when I was 11 to 14 years old, I was heavily bullied for my under eye circles. I lived in a rougher area. My, my parents were trying to save up for a house and it was just a rough and tough kind of area. I mean, just because you live in a certain type of area doesn't mean that, but this was a rough area and people will say whatever they felt like. And I got a lot, and I was a very shy, like quiet kid. So, I am Mexican and half Guyanese. There's a lot of mixture in there being Guyanese. Um, but I look different. I live in a predominantly Hispanic area, but I didn't look like all the other Hispanic kids. Um, I had really dark under eye circles. I'll put a picture up right here of when I was heavily bullied, which is, I was so tiny. I was like such a little kid. I had like a Nick Carter necklace on, big time Backstreet Boys fan. But um, I was super bullied. I got called every name you could think of that had to do with a dark under eye circle. Really horrible names that I don't even want to say. I had rocks thrown at my house, like a crazy story. Like my parents had to call the police. This was probably around 97, 98. I don't know, it was a crazy time. Because I looked different, people would, you know, call me names and things like that. It really affected my confidence in the way that I saw myself. Finally, my parents saved up enough money and we got a house in a nicer area and um, with a more diverse group of people, but I still got teased. It, was, it wasn't as bad or intense. Nobody was trying to hurt me, but they definitely pointed me out as looking very different. Um, I have a picture here. I was in cheerleading. Um, my parents were trying to get me into sports and get active because I was very quiet and shy, very, very low self-confidence at the time, just did not feel good about myself. And this was all the way up to 14 years old. Once I hit 14 years old, I was like, this is not me. This is not who I am. So I was so tired of feeling like that. I was not able to wear makeup. My parents were extremely strict. I went into my mom's makeup bag anyways. I pulled out this concealer. It was really yellow. I think it was Maybelline. And I put it on. I was always fascinated by makeup since I was really young. So I would always watch her, but I wasn't able to put it on. So I kind of felt like I knew what I was doing. Um, I went into school that day and I swear to you, I felt like a new person. I don't know if it was the way that people were actually seeing me or the way that I saw myself that day, but my confidence, everybody asked like, what did you do? Like, what did you do to your like face? Like your face looks different. Like, how do you look like this? And I'm like, oh, I just used my mom's concealer, which was a corrector at the time, but I used my mom's concealer and I covered my under eyes. And I had some girls ask me like, oh, can you do mine? That day, I got so many questions. People were asking me, but I was more confident that day. I spoke up, I talked to people. I feel like I connected with people from concealer. And I started slowly doing people's makeup. Long story short, my mom let me wear makeup after that. I told her what, what happened and all my story. And she was like, okay, you can wear concealer and a few little things. But after that, I became the locker room makeup artist from middle school to high school. I was always doing people's makeup and it made me feel so good, so connected, empowered, and just like I was helping people feel and look better. And it was so rewarding to me. 
And so I knew from that moment, like, I want to continue to help people in this way. I don't know how or what, but I want to keep doing this. So I, I was a freelance artist outside of high school, but I also had like a nine to five insurance job. So makeup artistry was always kind of on the side, but it was you guys that allowed me to have a platform to continue to promote self empowerment, self love through my videos with my messaging and it was because of you I'm able to create my brand and I am forever grateful. Like, I'm not gonna get emotional. I promised myself I wouldn't get emotional. I am wearing waterproof mascara, but you're the reason why I'm able to create a whole brand, a whole complexion collection. Like, you did that for me. You allowed me to follow my dreams, make them a reality, and I thank you so, so much. And I created this collection and this brand for you. All right, I've told you my whole life story. We are finally going to get into the concealer, the setting powder, and the beauty sponge. Okay, so there's 17 shades of concealer. Just to let you guys know what the concealer looks like up close, it looks like this. There's a matte frosted vial right at the bottom, and then the top has our DC logo. The name is on the bottom, and it's just so cute. It might look a little bit lighter in the vial because it has that like frosted matte look to it. But when I created the concealers, I broke them up into four categories. So I have fair light right here. I have light medium, and then I have medium to medium tan and dark to deep. I am going to expand each category shade range as we grow, but starting off with these little guys. And on my website, I'll have a quiz so you can pick your perfect shade. And they're named after my favorite ritual ever, and that's coffee. Why this concealer is so incredibly special. So this is called the Wide Awake Full Cover Concealer, and it's a buildable full coverage. You can build it up to where it completely knocks out any darkness, but you can also sheer it out if you want. Um, now what makes this super, super unique is that it has a metal tip, something that you normally would see in a skincare product. Massaging the metal tip underneath your eye in the morning is going to depuff your eyes and it's also going to give you this really awakening, cooling sensation. That's why I named it Wide Awake because when this touches your face, you're gonna wake up. I'm just telling you, this is going to wake you up. It's gonna give you a brighter, smoother under eyes. The finish on this is a natural skin-like finish. I have really dry skin, so I use this all over my face um, to contour bronze, even out my skin tone and brighten but I absolutely love the finish on this because it gives me that healthy, glowy skin finish. But also we need to lock it in place. Not only is the cooling tip going to wake up your eyes, but it's also infused with caffeine and vitamin E. This is going to tighten the under eyes, get the blood flowing under there, help to brighten the darkness under your eye, and the vitamin E is so nourishing for the skin. And the great thing about this applicator is that when you pull it out, it gives you the perfect amount of concealer so that you don't get cakey overdone under eyes, which I need help with sometimes because I can overdo concealer because I love it so much, I just wanna be bright. This kind of helps me. If you're anything like me, this is going to really help you out in every way possible. The concealer is $26, the setting powder is $22, and this is called the Smooth and Blur Setting Powder because it literally creates a smooth, filtered look on your face. And with my skin being dry, my first launch of complexion, I wanted it to be hydrating. So I created two translucent setting powders, one translucent and one medium deep. So you guys get to, I'm gonna show you them, the package. Beauty inside and out. There is a matte powdery finish on top of the concealer and the setting powder. So it might look a little bit lighter in the jar. Let me pull it out for you. This has hyaluronic acid. It's gonna lock in the moisture to your skin, but it's also going to mattify. So if you wanna put this all over your face just to set everything in place, I personally like to do my T-zone. So I'll do my under eyes and a little bit of my T-zone. Oh my gosh, like I'm, I have it on right now. All my lines are just smooth. Like it's like this, I'm so, you're gonna love this setting powder. It's gonna, it's a game changer. At the same time, it's not going to make your skin look dry and cakey and flat. It's hydrating. It's a hydrating matte setting powder. That 
is insane. I am so excited for you guys to try this out. And last but not least, I have an antibacterial essential beauty sponge. And this is going, the holes on the sponge are very small. So when you apply foundation or any liquid onto this and you pat it on your skin, you're gonna get the most flawless, smooth finish. The beauty sponge is $15. So I don't know if you noticed, but these tones are new for us. And this is what I have been talking about all year long that we're rebranding to this new color story that has so much love and light and this is it it is this beautiful mauve tone it's actually a pantone that i've referred to as 7633c for the past two years that i've been creating this i am so excited for you guys to try this i'll have a collection price for you guys as well at the bottom you can get this on dominicosmetics.com i will have all the information in the description i hope you guys enjoy it this is super surreal for me that i'm bringing this concealer to life this whole complexion category is happening and i am so grateful for you to be there every step of the way i love you guys so much thank you for watching and before i let you go as always i leave you with a motivational message that's to believe in yourself you can do anything you want you can do it if i could do it you can do it i love you guys so much i believe in you and i will see you in the next video bye guys